this video we will discuss about the urea cycle how urea is formed in our body there are total five steps in urea cycle among them first and second step take place in mitochondria first and second step take place in mitochondria whereas the rest of the steps rest of steps it take place in cytosol you know that mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell cytosol is the cytoplasm so in this video we will discuss about the five steps which are necessary for the formation of urea among these cycles among these steps first and the second step take place in the mitochondria rest of the steps will take place in the cytosol and cytoplasm to make urea cycle easy to understand we, we will use a mnemonic which is c o c triple a f u go calf u so this is just a simple mnemonic to understand different various products which we'll use in this urea cycle first of all in the formation of urea cycle carbon dioxide and ammonia they will combine together and they will form carbomyl phosphate this carbomyl phosphate will combine with ornithine and will form citrulline this citrulline will form arginosuccinate this arginosuccinate is converted into two products famurate and arginine this arginine is further divided into two compounds urea and back to ornithine here is our product which is required urea so before starting this cycle we used a mnemonic which was co calf u co calf u so now i will use these words and will explain you how we have used this link this mnemonic in our whole cycle so the first one the first letter is c here you can see carbomyl phosphate here we have used c next mnemonic the next letter was o so here we have used o ornithine again the next letter was c citrulline here citrulline is converted into arginosuccinate and for its conversion aspartate is required so a aspartate another a arginosuccinate and the other a arginine f for famurate and u for urea now we will draw another mnemonic for the enzymes we are going to use in the formation of urea so for enzyme we will use a mnemonic c o double s a cosa and how we are going to use this the first symbol is c and here you can see we have made a product which is carbomyl phosphate so the enzyme which will which we will use for the formation of carbomyl phosphate is called carbomyl phosphate synthate carbomyl phosphate synthase as the name suggests there is a synthesis of a compound carbomyl phosphate the enzyme which would be used is carbomyl phosphate synthase the next word in this mnemonic is o and here you can see ornithine combined with carbomyl phosphate and form citrulline so the enzyme which will react over here for the combination of ornithine and carbomyl phosphate into citrulline is ornithine transcarbomylase orni thin trans carbomyl amylase carbomyl amylase so with the help of this enzyme ornithine will combine with this carbomyl phosphate and will form citrulline this citrulline will be converted into arginosuccinate 
by the help of an enzyme which is called synthase. Here, the other letter in this mnemonic was S, synthase. Synthetase. The product arginosuccinate was converted into famurate and arginine by the help of enzyme succinase. The other mnemonic, succinase. So here will succinase. Arginine was further then divided into two compound, ornithine and urea by the help of the last mnemonic, this enzyme. This is called arginase. So with the help of this mnemonic, we have easily mentioned all the enzymes which will, which will take part in the formation of urea. So I will repeat C. C for carbomyl phosphate synthase because with the help of this enzyme, carbon dioxide and ammonia will convert it into carbomyl phosphate. The next ornithine will combine with carbomyl phosphate. The next ornithine will combine with carbomyl phosphate and will form citrulline by the help of an enzyme ornithine transcarbomylase. Citrulline will be converted into arginosuccinate by the help of enzyme synthase. synthetase. Arginosuccinate will be converted into famurate and arginine by the help of enzyme succinase. Arginine will form the final product urea and ornithine by the help of enzyme arginase. So by the help of these two mnemonic, we have easily drawn our urea cycle. The first mnemonic was for the products which are going to be formed and the second mnemonic was for the enzymes which will take part in the formation of urea. C was for, here I will write for your E, C was for carbo mild phosphate synthase synthase the second was o o was for ornithine trans carbomyl amylase s for synthetase s for synthetase the other S was for succinase and last A for arginase.